Good day, students. Once again, you are welcome to this virtual class for this week. And we are going to be going through some experiences of screen printing and stencil metal. If you remember, in our previous class, we had a tie and dye class. And I told you, after tie and dye class, we are going to go straight to print on the fabrics that we have dyed in color. Last week, we made use of t-shirts and some cutting fabrics. So today we are going to be looking at method of printing. The first one we are going to be looking at is screen printing. What do you use screen printing method for? Is to make your design on your fabrics. Screen printing is the use of a mesh. And through this mesh, your design is already made on the mesh. And you force the ink right through this mesh on your fabric through the process of using your scroogey. I have my scroogey. This is what we call scroogey and this is what we call mesh. This is an open mesh. We have closed mesh and we have open mesh. We are going to use an open mesh. After you have your mesh stretched on your wood, you do your design either in black and white and you coat the surface of your mesh. Your mesh comes in a plain format, but if you want to expose now, because of our time, we don't have that time to go through that process, but I will quickly explain the process of you getting your design right on your mesh. Your mesh will come in like a fresh virgin mesh, no design made on it. You have already stretched your mesh on your wooden frame. The next thing is take your design, which you have already printed out from the computer, place it on, sorry, the first thing you do is you coat your mesh, you coat it with your chemicals, your emulsion, and your sanitizers, you mix the two chemicals together, and you apply it, it on your mesh surface. After doing that, you allow it to get dried, or you use what we call hand dryer to dry it off. So the next thing now is to take your already prepared design, place it on the reverse side of your mesh, take a plain glass, place it on top, and you put a foam underneath, and you take it to the sun. You make use of sun because it's sensitive to light. You put it inside the sun for maybe about two, three minutes. After that, you bring it in and you wash it with water and foam gently so that you not rub your design. What you now have is your already made design. Your work will now come out in this format. I've done this because of the time. I've done this already. So this is what we're going to be using this afternoon. And also, I have another design here. Now, when we say stencil metal, stencil metals means you cutting your prepared designs on paper and placing it on your fabric. This is an already made stencil that we are going to be using also in this class. For example, I have this design already made on paper. How do you get your stencil? You need your knife. You need your knife. You can, you can follow me. You can follow me. You can cut it this way. Now. 
Yes, you've already achieved your desire. This becomes a stencil for you to use as your printing materials. Now, these areas that you have cut out is where the ink will be forced in onto your fabrics. You just place it on your fabric and use the foam to touch your ink and we call it dabby. We call it dabby. You dab it on the fabrics. As we go on this class, we we'll see the process as we go on. Now, let's quickly go straight to the first method, which is screen printing. Now, let's take this t-shirt. If you remember, this is the t-shirt we dyed in the last class. So, I want to make my print on the t-shirt now. I will place my t-shirt on the table, on the flat table. We make sure it's flat. Make sure it's flat. Now, I want to use this is what I call geometric shapes, geometric designs, and I place it like this. You place it right in front of the t-shirt. You take your ink. I'm using test pass ink. I'm using the test pass ink. process using mesh. Now, you can see. You can use three, four colors on this. What you find is this design on your t-shirt. So if you remember, we are making use of stencil, sorry, mesh metal. This mesh method. Now, quickly, let's do a kind of quick stencil method on this T-shirt again. I have my already made stencil. I want to, I want to use the stencil method. What's the process? I call this one. I use what we call dabbing method. You get your ink already.
for stress. You have come to the other side with the t-shirt. Go to the same process. Go through the same process. What I'm doing now is called dabbing method. It's called dabbing method. So, as we continue dabbing, we make sure the ink covers the space evenly. That's all. You remove your stencil. What you now have is this. Can you see? This is what we have. The next thing is lost places. Allow it to dry. Now, we are, we are done with the stencil method. Now, let's go to the. We want to print on our last week, time and die. This is the work we did in our last class. If you remember, this is the product. So, and I want to appreciate some of you that have attempted the assignment. Some of you attempted it. I want to appreciate David Mudipe who attempted the assignment. And I think he did very well. I appreciate him. So others start bringing your assignments so that others can see. Now, what you do first is place your fabrics flat on the table, right on the table. You need a flat table. You need a flat table. You remove all materials that can obstruct your job. Now, Make use of African motifs. I have a drum, African talking drum, as my motif. And your placement of your design determines your outcome. The way you place it determines your outcome. Using is called opaque. Opaque. It's called opaque ink. So I place my ink, my my mesh, and I use my squeegee to apply or to force in my ink onto the fabrics. You remove it gently. Straight again. I'm forcing the ink through the mesh.
definitely move it. Having done that, having done your prints, the next thing is for you to go and clean up your mesh. You don't leave the ink on the surface of your mesh. The next thing is to clean it with water and you clean your kruji. What do I call this? I call it kruji. Remember the name is kruji. It's called kruji. This one is called what? Mesh. Fasting on a wooden frame. So, in our next class, 
we are going to be looking at another method of dyeing that is going to be in the form of batik. It's going to be in form of batik. So it's going to be in form of what? Batik. Now, this is the end of the fabrics. You can see now, it's beautiful. You can sew this and you can go for it. Are you following the design now? Um, at the end of the day, this is what your finished product will look like. So, in our next class, I've mentioned uh, quickly the materials we use this particular time is called opaque ink. It's better on fabrics. Maybe next class we can do two colors, three colors, and for my assignment, try to get yourself a two yard fabric, do your tie and dye on it, get your stencil on paper, cut it, and use your foam right there on your fabrics. I believe at the end of this class, everyone has enjoyed the process of printing on your fabrics. You can start designing your own African designs or what, whatever design you want to do. You can start customizing your, your, your t-shirt. From now on, I believe you can make something meaningful out of this period that we are facing in this country. Start something and we get there. See you next class. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Keep safe. Thank you. See you.